Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another client interview. Today I have Darby from Quarterpath uh, to discuss how we got a 25% increase in demos with a few, a few tweaks to the messaging within the first month. Obviously we've done a few more tweaks. We're going to talk about those as well. Um, and yeah, let's, before I get ahead of myself, just could you please introduce yourself and what Quarterpath does and we'll, we'll take it from there. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, thanks for having me. Um, I'm Darby Dupree. I'm the product marketing manager at Quotapath. Um, Quotapath is a sales commission and compensation management tool for salespeople. Um, we are a freemium product. So if you're an individual contributor in sales, you can try out our products for free. Um, but if you're looking for more um, support for commission tracking for your entire organization, uh, we do have a, a paid product as well. Got it. Yeah, which makes it a little tricky to have both a freemium and having a demo is a tricky place. Um, <laughs> anyway, in terms of if we were to look back at a few months from now, when uh, like when we um, a few months ago when we started working or when we started working together, could you give me a quick overview of what you guys were struggling with in terms of like updating the messaging? What kind of things in the product that you were struggling to communicate? What what did that look like a few months ago? Yeah, so I think um, the struggle that you just identified having a freemium, um, a free product to try, but also messaging to organizations um, was the struggle that we were in uh, closer to the beginning of the year. Um, we built our initial version of the website that was very geared towards sales reps, really pushing um, our freemium, our free product, which at the time was the only product that we had <laughs> as we were working on our paid product. Okay. Um, so we had this transition, not only in messaging, but also in product maturity and our functionality and new personas within the growth, within a growth organization. Um, and we had to kind of rebuild our website, rethink about our messaging and positioning um, at that time um, as we in support of um, our paid feature suite that was about to launch. Um, so it was at that time where we had a lot going on and we really needed help honing in that messaging and our CEO got introduced um, and recommended to you. And so we were like, let's do it. Perfect. And what, what do you think was like the impact at the time of, of just not knowing, um, you know, what's persona to double down on or how to transition from a free uh, product to a paid one, what kind of um, like what things to explain and what things to keep on, on the website. What did that look like? Have you tried it a couple of times and then reach out? Did you like just got help right away? What did that look like? We did. We did an initial, um, we actually rebuilt our entire site. We pulled over an engineer from our product team to help. Um, we <clears throat> got rid of our agency that we had been working with. We wanted everything internal. Um, so really it was like a three or four month, pretty big project. Um, and after we, after uh, we rebuilt it, we had done a lot on the messaging, but um, it wasn't like we weren't quite getting the number of inbound demos. That's one of our main conversion numbers um, that we were hoping for. Um, so it was at that time we were like, we need like frameworks and we need help positioning and we need help like, like it's how do we continue to speak to the sales rep who was like at the core of our product, but also talk to these sales managers and these sales leaders and these sales ops folks um, all at the same time. So in terms of product marketing, it's uh, definitely a positioning challenge that, that we were in. God, it definitely gets a little tricky because of the free versus paid product and all these personas. Uh, yeah, that definitely felt overwhelming. So at some point you just said, hey, let's just do, do it all, all, all over again, even though we just redid the entire thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we, um, when we decided to work with you, we kind of honed in on um, three important things. One was the homepage. Um, we had done a lot of like heat map uh, and A-B testing and found that like no one really scrolls past like a specific point. So like at that time we had a really short homepage um, and that wasn't really working for us. Uh, we also wanted to um, look into our blog page, um, which is something that we didn't even know that we needed to work on, but you identified it as something that's like 
really important to set clear expectations for the person who's about to like share, give away their time to like learn about your product. Um, and we also really wanted help creating some like top of the funnel, uh, lead magnet resources, but really didn't know where to start. And, um, you helped with that as well. Perfect. So it looks like it was mainly the messaging around, uh, like this new pre products, how to talk about like for, for the entire sales team, how much more valuable this is, um, you know, for forecasting and tracking commissions and all this stuff. And at the same time, leveraging that, uh, those leads and that traffic that you were getting already, uh, but we're kind of struggling to, to convert, um, because in this case, and that's like something to just mention as a side note, you, you got like tons of leads from the, from, from the blog or like tons of traffic from the blog. So it's important that we maximize it. Not every company, um, does that through the blog. They have other channels. So in our case, that was the, the low hanging, low hanging fruits. So it seems like we've tweaked the homepage, the demo few things to the lean minutes and, and the blog that we're still even trying to make it even better. Um, what are some of the outcomes that you've seen, like the tangible results that you've seen since we started working together? Yeah. Um, so I'll start just slightly with intangible results <laughs> or intangible things. Um, yeah. You, for the homepage, like the homepage, you, you provided us with a framework that's like a proven framework that like you literally handed over a doc and you were like, this is what you need right here. This is what you need right here. This is what you need right here with of course room for, you know, uh, our interpretation and, and all that. But that was, that was kind of the starting point. And that was extremely helpful for us to, to like not try and keep reinventing the wheel, which is like what we were trying to do. It's like, no SAS websites have a, a proven formula and you should follow them. Um, so that was really helpful. So for the homepage, we, uh, I think, <clears throat> um, because we really lay out the product in a clear way, um, with sprinkled in with some objection handling, sprinkling in some social proof, um, sprinkling in some logos, some CTAs, um, a bit that's, of magic. <laughs> yeah, but add a little, yeah, a little bit of magic over here. <laughs> um, I think that it just people were able to come to our site and say, oh, I understand what Quotapath does and I understand how this product works. Um, so that whether they get all through the home down through the page or not, um, they're able or they're willing to hop around on other pages to learn more. Um, we launched that and within or the new homepage and within a month, um, like you said, we saw a 25% increase in um, number of demos, uh, which uh, is great. <laughs> um, everyone wants that. <laughs> um, we also did a bunch of A-B testing to like add more CTAs and we tested the home, the, the headline on the homepage a lot. Um, we tested a variant that we created versus one that you suggested and yours won. Um, it had a one, 1.2%, 1 uh, sign up and versus a 0.4 on the other one. So, um, we definitely, it was nice to just like have your dedicated time and you knowing what you're doing, um, to really help us guide like such an important page on our website. Got it. Okay. I think that sounds good in terms of results, both tangible and intangible. That's uh, always, always good to know in terms of like what the process looked like, uh, more, no, not only in terms of, uh, what we actually did, but in terms of how did it feel like in terms of the feedback, right? Because obviously the way we changed this was with some back and forth, right? We started off with a few frameworks to kind of speed things up and not start up with something proven. And again, you get some back and forth feedback between the work you're doing and my suggestion so we can make things really fast and, and have that outside perspective at the same time. How did it feel in terms of the frequency of like the speed? Um, yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, as someone who is type A and really into process, I really admired your process and your efficiency. Um, I we, I mean, 
you give feedback so quickly. I think I made a joke with you. I was like, do you ever sleep? <laughs> because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, we are in different countries. I'm in the U S and uh, you're in Spain and like, you're always, I feel like you're, you're on, online a healthy amount. Um, so I think I, I was never, um, if anything, like we were the bottlenecks, you always were very efficient at getting feedback, but you also like had some gentle nudges of like, Hey, where is this thing? Um, let's make sure we have time to review before your deadline. Uh, so you were, you're always really on top of it. Um, we had access to you a couple of times a week via call if we needed you. Um, otherwise we used your SAS accelerator, uh, online platform, which is like filled with resources. Uh, if you ever like want to dive in, um, and if not, like you're also responsive via email. So I felt like I had, um, access to you in whatever medium I needed it whenever I needed it. Perfect. Okay. That's, that sounds good. Uh, definitely good to know that, um, you know, it always seem available. I do sleep just in case people are watching this. <laughs> Uh, might want. I'm sure you have a, a healthy work-life balance. <laughs> yeah, I do. I think I think when you sent uh, when you sent it that I was a, a little bit shocked because I do manage it pretty well. I I have like set time frames where I do ch uh, check it, and I got that messaging and I just got from like skateboarding like three hours in a row like in the <laughs> afternoon, and it was like yeah, if it feels like that, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that just is like another testament to your efficiency in a process that works. So good job. Yeah, awesome. Good to know. In terms of like, um, if there were any, uh, let's say there are a few SaaS companies looking at this interview or the website or anything similar at the moment, they're either hesitating to starting right now or like taking the act, taking the leap of like starting working together or maybe to taking the leap to book that initial call and see um, how they can get some help. What would you say to them that kind of would help them make that leap? I think if there's any SaaS company, no matter like really what stage you're in, if you are struggling with messaging and positioning and you're struggling with website conversion, or if you're building a website for the first time and you just have no idea where to start, like working with you is really a no brainer. Um, also, if you're struggling and too scared to make the leap, you do offer a call to like really get to understand our goals and some of our numbers and like we have a strategy call where you like lay out a bunch of ideas and if it looks good then then like let's do it and if not like let's let's not but um also it's like you're really affordable to work with so that's another thing that was like just a non it, that was a like a non-issue for us so it wasn't a barrier to entry so um, don't be scared if you need help with your website and conversions, like just, I would, I would definitely recommend you. Perfect. That sounds like a plan in terms of like, now that are you talking about being affordable and everything, what was the ROI? Like, I know it's kind of hard to quantify, but what would you say? Um, at least what, it, what do you think it is or how much did it feel like it was like a good ROI or not? Yeah. Um, you, I don't have these numbers off the top of my head but I would say that you probably paid yourself. You definitely paid for yourself within the months that we worked for you and probably overpaid for yourself within the months that we worked with you. I'd say probably we like doubled the ROI. Um, we're also getting a bunch more demos um, that make our sales team really happy. And we're also getting new users. So you've really helped us um, not only I mean, you've helped us with both of our like main acquisition goals, which is um, measuring inbound demos and measuring new users. So, awesome, that's perfect. Uh, I mean, thanks. That's the pretty much all the questions for the interview. One last question would be like, how can people find on, you online, like both you and and Quotapath, in case they need some help with tracking their commissions for salespeople? Yeah, if you are in sales, no matter what industry, no matter what level. Quota Path can work for you. You can find us at quotapath.com. We're also pretty big on LinkedIn. Um, in terms of myself, uh, I'm less online, <laughs> um, but you can also find me on LinkedIn at uh, LinkedIn backslash Darby Dupree. So. Perfect. Well, thanks a lot for the interview and uh, looking forward to keep working together. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye.